Sharon Williams, founder and CEO of Taurus, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to Taurus TV, the channel that tells the story of our Taurus network. I'm delighted today to have with me Australian journalist Amber Sherlock. Wel welcome, Amber. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much for having me on Taurus TV today. Uh, hello. We're going to talk about change. Let's face it, most of us don't really like having to do it. We want others to change, but if we ourselves are involved, then most prefer to procrastinate or ignore it altogether. The truth is, we are hardwired to resist change. Part of the brain interprets change as a threat and releases the hormones for fear, fight or flight. Your body wants to protect us from change. And with research revealing 70% of all change initiatives fail, it helps to explain why most business owners are reluctant to. Our guest today has over 25 years experience implementing effective, complex transformation and leadership strategies for professional services, blue chip companies and government departments. Lyndall Hughes is a member of the Australian Psychology Society Coaching Group and a founding member of the British Psychological Coaching Group as well. No wonder Lyndall is much sought after workplace wellbeing, culture and change practitioner at Q5. Q5's clients are in the UK, the USA, the Middle East, New Zealand and of course here in Australia. They include the New South Wales Ministry of Health, Datacom, Coles, Google, the New South Wales Department of Education, Metcash and Alfred Health. Welcome so much, Lyndall, to the program. Um, we love having you here today and we've got so much to talk about. Uh, as I mentioned in the intro, we tend to run away from change. Why is that? Uh, it's exactly as you said, it's threat and it's that hard wiring around threat. Uh, and then a fascinating thing about that hard wiring is um, the primitive part of our brain is scanning for threat every 20 milliseconds. So literally we're scanning, uh, it doesn't have to be a physical threat, it could be social, it could be are we losing some control, am I losing some status? Uh, and so when we think about change in an organisation we're immediately thinking how is this impacting me? And I think the other part of it, I mean let's face it, we're all busy and we're all tired. <laughs> so. <laughs> We, um, we have patterns in how we do things just to conserve our energy. You know, we come to work, we put on our emails, whatever we do, that's to conserve energy. And if I have to change that, that's hard. And yet, Lyndall, you embrace change. Uh, tell us why. Uh, I think my philosophy is very much around hope. Um, and, and to have hope in an organisation, there needs to be good change. Not just any change, but, but really good change, a sense of making it better. Um, for everyone working there um, and also for the customers. Um, and, and interestingly, um, research has shown that organisations that have strong organisational change capability, so not just bringing a contractor in, but having really good systemic capability, perform better but are also more resilient to shock. Uh, let's turn to you, Sharon, because you've helped more than a thousand people, brands and businesses become successful. To what exchange, uh, to what extent, sorry, I'll just ask that again. Sharon, you've helped more than a thousand people, brands and businesses become more successful. To what extent has change been part of that? Um, I think change is the constant, the, what is it? Constant change is here to stay. <laughs> and every day as a leader, one has to operate the running of business as usual and be looking for that next step and certainly having been in business for 27 years we're always looking for the change and where we can be on the front foot um, what's great about working with you Lyndall is that's that's what you're doing with your yeah. clients too mm. uh, do you fear change no I embrace it because I think if we're not changing and evolving then the organization is just going to go down into a, uh, a downward spiral so I actually wake up every morning thinking, yes, celebrate what we're doing well, but what can we do better? And better means change. Yeah. And how do you help your clients at Taurus embrace change? The great thing about our relationships is our clients have been with us a long time and often our clients are returning clients. So we've seen and been through change together as, as the norm. Um, and taking our clients through that journey of transformation and change is all part of what we do. and it's fun and it's a pleasure and it's a challenge and it's always rewarding. 
Lyndall, tell us more about Q5. I believe you combine art and science to achieve organisational change. Take us through that process. Uh, well, Q5 was founded 13 years ago in the UK and it was very much founded on the premise of organisational health. H how do you bring that art and science together holistically into an organisation? So when we say organisational health, we're talking about really understanding is the business on target? Does the business have the capability it needs, you know, in terms of the capability of the people, but bringing the people together with the process for business capability? Are we delivering to the stakeholders, to customers? So a whole lot of key um, fundamental questions. Um, so you would expect consultants to be bringing the science, which is the data, the research, the analytics, but it's the human element that makes a difference. Um, and it's the human element that brings the complexity. So the art is really understanding what it is around people, what makes it different and how to harness it. Uh, you say you're passionate about helping uh, to build lasting change in complex organisations. First I'll ask, what does that mean? What does lasting change mean? Lasting change is embedded change. So it's essentially, it's beyond being a project. It's beyond um, a role existing. Um, so as an example, an organisation might want to bring in agile ways of working. Agile ways of working um, has teams operating differently, coming together differently, solving problems around sprints of time quite differently. Uh, and that's quite a leap for some organisations. If the change is embedded or lasting, it moves from being something new to this is the way we do things. And what makes an organisation complex? Complexity is humans. <laughs> so, so that's all organisations. It, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, of course, there's a lot that drives complexity, you know, the systemic level. But, you know, if we again, if we think about that piece of art, that the piece around humans and I mean, if we just take a simple system of two parents and two children, there's complexities there. there there's the dynamics you know, go away on holidays and add grandparents, aunts and cousins and it becomes even more complex. Mm -hmm. That's a team. And if you take that and multiply that many, many times in an organisation, there's complexity. How do you support your clients in the long term? I mean, I'm sure guidance and support must endure somehow. You've got that unique Q5 art and science methodology. Talk us through that. Um, it, look, it's based on sound practice. You know, we bring in deep experience, we bring in robust research, and we also bring in pragmatism. You know, so really working hand in hand, sleeves rolled up with the client. Um, the problem with the English language is words become diluted, but, but we really do collaborate and partner. Um, we're really there, very agile, nimbly working with the client. Um, the other thing that we bring is we, we make ourselves, we plan to make ourselves redundant. Um, and there's a lovely example at the moment, um, big transformation with a very large organisation in Melbourne. We're there for six months to help them with their transformation, but already we're planning at the three month mark that they're leading it. How do we lightly move out? How do we leave that capability behind? Shara, let's talk about the Taurus Q5 relationship. What's the story there? So we're very lucky to have met um, Lyndall and started some projects with her to, to help craft and build that Q5 brand here in Australia. And um, it's been a joy uh, doing a deep dive into the sort of work that Q5 is doing with corporate leaders in Australia and learning about the successes and then ampli amplifying them into the market. Tell me more about Q5. Um, well, at Q5, we really do focus on the operating model. We, we've, and because of this art around people and humans and how they interact, we focus on behaviours, we focus on mindsets, we focus on those interactions. We don't just think about boxes on a page. Uh, Lyndall, from your perspective uh, of Taurus Q5 relationship, talk me through it. Uh, it's built on the same values um, and those values of respect and the values of actually over delivering for clients. So, so really going that extra mile. Um, and I would say we have a lovely, healthy, um, shared guidance for each other, um, a very much a mature relationship. Uh, what would you say to encourage business owners or CEOs that might be watching to embrace change? Well, as Sharon said, change is a constant. Um, you either embrace it or have it done to you. 
Um, but not just any change, not just change that makes you feel good, not just change which is random or ad hoc in an organisation, but meaningful change that will turn the dial. Um, the interesting piece is change requires imagination. And unfortunately, I find working with many senior leaders that sometimes through experience, through learned patterns, we're losing that bit of imagination. But we really need to be able to articulate clearly the future we, we want to make. Um, so my challenge for any leader would be bring imagination into your next strategy day. And how can Q5 help these businesses that might need to change? We can challenge, we can spark ideas, um, and we can bring good practice. All right, thank you so much, Lilo Hughes, for your time today. Really appreciate it. I'm Amber Sherlock. It's been great to be part of Taurus TV today. Sharon? Amber, thank you. Absolutely wonderful to have you on board. Thank you, Lyndall. Mm. If you would like to become part of the Taurus Network, contact us at the email address on the screen. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sharon Williams.